And today we're going to be doing a St. Patrick's hairstyle and we're going to be making a three leaf clover or a shamrock, whatever you want to call it. But I have started just by putting her hair into a standard ponytail and then I'm going to grab a section here on top and split this into three. And then I'm going to be placing an elastic about an inch up on each of these three strands. each of those elastics placed where I want them, I'm going to take these strands and split them each in half and then wrap them with some ribbon. So to start with, I'm going to thread a piece of ribbon through each of the elastics. Your ribbon probably needs to be about a foot long and then you want to pull it until both ends are the same length. So it's basically doubled up. Now that I have those ribbons on there, I'm going to start with this strand here in the middle. I'm going to split this hair in half and then wrap the ribbon around both sides of that. So there's really no braiding involved here. I'm just taking the ribbon and wrapping it around the strand. that ribbon wrapped around the strand I'm just going to take a little claw clip and clip that off so that it doesn't come undone and then I'm going to do the same thing to the rest of these strands so I'm going to have six total I'm splitting each of these three in half and wrapping each side okay I have all six of those strands twisted and we were thinking if you're too cool to have a shamrock in your hair you could actually leave it just like that and it would look pretty cool I would not leave these clips in and just tie them off with elastics but that might be another option and then if you want to make the shamrock I'm going to start with this strand here in the middle I'm just going to lift it up and bring these ends down so that it kind of looks like a heart And then same thing with these other ones on the side. You just want to bring it up and then bring the ends around. The hardest part about this hairstyle is probably holding these in place before you add the elastic. If you're having trouble, you can use some clips to help you. But after you get everything situated where you want it, now you just want to tie one more elastic around the base of this. And I'm trying to get this up as tight as I can to that original elastic. You can always go back and fix these after you get that elastic in. You can pull them out a little bit. And if you need to bobby pin them into place, you can also do that. But I found that they hold pretty well just with the elastic. Okay, after you have everything in place, you can just remove these clips and unwind the ribbon from the ends of all of these pieces. Here's the finished style. You can either leave these ribbons hanging down like we have here, or you can tie them up into a bow right here over the elastic. Just whatever you want to do. Happy St. Patrick's Day!